Hey friends, so uh, today's an unboxing day. I just got this package in from Sweetwater. But first, we would love it if you would hit all those buttons and smash that like button and we will get started. I uh, came in a little ahead of schedule. I went ahead and had this one sent UPS ground. I'm actually uh, pretty happy with the delivery. We kind of had some nasty weather the past few days, so glad to see it got here in one piece. So so let's see what we got. All right, we got some candy from the wonderful folks at Sweetwater. We got the thank you letter with a sticker inside. This is the Quilter Superblock US. So here's a story on how I wound up coming across this. So about last year, I uh, came across the video for the Electro Harmonix Magnum 44, which is basically a pedal sized amplifier. I thought it'd be interesting to uh, make a, a pedal board based, something that you can just hook up into a, a PA uh, just kind of a grab and go kind of thing. I think this is worth mentioning considering all that's going on in the world. Recently I was trying to order the orange Super Crush 100 and it's been on back order for the past three months. And I asked uh, for an update from Sweetwater. They said it might be mid-May by this point and with what's going on, especially between Ukraine and Russia, they're not really hopeful right now about anything tube related. Uh, as, as a lot of people probably know, a lot of tubes are produced in Russia. There's going to be a little bit of a tube shortage for a while. That doesn't mean that they're going away per se, but if you're looking for one of the newer tube amps or something that's supposed to replace tubes, you might be waiting a little longer than expected, especially if it's made in China. This is the Quilter Superblock US. From my understanding, this is supposed to kind of mimic popular US-based amplifiers like uh, Fender style ones. It's got a built-in reading verb it's got EQ uh, the limiter is basically a sustain control uh, you got a gain knob which is good uh, if you're in standby it activates a headphone line out only so the speaker is muted on activates your speaker you you can hook this up to anywhere from 4 to 16 ohm power loads as far as your speakers go so that's really good runs on a nine volt adapter wow you got a headphone out effects loop uh, you got your guitar input you got a cab sim so you've already kind of got built-in irs so that's pretty good frfr uh, presents a flat full range signal suitable for external cab sim models norm engages an internal cab sim that represents a normal 12 inch guitar speaker and warms up the sound for headphones and direct console outputs brt uh, increases treble response to represent a small bright guitar speakers and on your voicings uh, 61 is based on a classic blonde colored amp from the early 60s these are all fender amps by the way 57 is based on a late 50s era tweed amp 65 is based on a classic black amplifier from 1965 so let's go ahead and take a look at this I've got some cables. This looks like uh, part of your power supply. In fact, we'll go ahead and um, just move everything out. All right, so this amplifier box, I was thinking it's actually kind of comparable in size to the Keeley, but it's just a little bit larger. 
You put the two side by side and you can see uh, they're fairly comparable in size. This will be interesting on um, this setup actually. And also something worth noting, another piece of gear that we'll be looking at soon. And they're actually comparable in size. Let's look at this. The Rockman and the Quilter are, for lack of better terms, same size. This is actually interesting pretty similar you got so much for such little real estate you got a line out that goes into a sound system obviously like a this can go into a house system pa system right here goes into a cabinet yeah we got a good view of it right here and um your power supply it looks like it kind of like a computer power supply you got your two parts and they give you plenty of cable to work with it's a pretty good thick power on kind of power supply like what you would use on a regular amp or even a computer and so you would hook this end of it up since it's this you're gonna hook it up into this so this is a 24 volt 3.0 a one but it does give you the option of 9 to 12 volt on the pedal board and of course uh, you got your headphones uh, you got your effects return effects send this is where you hook up your guitar or your um your preamp pedal and of course we described some of the other features of uh the amp just a few moments ago but power off and standby um, it bypasses your speaker and you just listen on headphones and such only it just bypasses your speakers and on goes to your cabinet and you got a cab sim uh, you got three different American Fender voice settings here. So you basically have three different types of Fender amps, three different types of cabinets. You got your master volume, you got your reverb, you got treble, mid, bass, and of course I said limiter is your sustain, and you got your gain. So what we'll do is we will take just this, a 412 cabinet and a guitar and we'll see what happens so stay tuned for that hey friends so we're back and we've got the quilter super block up now as you can see got good sturdy speaker cable going into the back of a 412 cabinet now this is a crate i'll just say this it doesn't have celestions in it it doesn't have cannabis racks or jensen's or anything like that in here but this is a 412 cabinet it's set to 8 ohms and we're going to be playing through the Telecaster and what we're going to do the volume is all the way down on the Telecaster the volume is all the way down on the master power of the quilter and the gain's all the way down what we're going to do is we're going to set it to normal and just for starters we'll start it at 61 and we'll bring each up oh about I'm going to say three hours at a time a three o'clock setting at a time until everything's at a point where it's gonna wake up the neighbors yeah let's go ahead and um, give this a go all right everything is all the way down bringing up the guitar volume just a little bring up the gain If you want it to be clean, you're going to need a comparable. Now this guitar is not all the way turned up, it's about 70% turned up.
guitar is still turned down about 70% away. And what we'll do, bring that gain up. some feedback you just have to have the master volume up just a little bit more let's try the British is actually the best way to control your gain. We'll go ahead and set the gain all the way. And volume's turned all the way down, so. I probably turned the guitar volume knob up about 10%, maybe. And we're getting a clean tone. There's a, there's a lot left to explore on this uh, guitar amp. However, just playing around with it and not getting the master really very much past, I would say, the 2 o'clock setting. And turning the gain up and just controlling volume with the guitar knob. We can definitely tell that there's plenty of headroom in there to uh, get some tone variables. Uh, you can switch from clean to dirty with just the turn of your guitar knob and we still have some room to go. However, you know, there is a lot to um, be explored with this. This is, of course, a 412 cabinet with stock crate speakers. Not 
not exactly top of the line speakers, but it, it's enough to uh, give you an idea. Now, are you probably going to be able to play at a major stadium gig using this? Um, that remains to be seen. However, you might be able to do a, I would say, a medium to small size uh, venue with this and not necessarily have tear up really expensive tube gear going from one place to another. I mean, if you just need something portable or if you need a backup. I mean, this this actually seems okay. So uh, your thoughts, just leave them down below and I shall see you later. Take care.